G'day, Fiddler Dan here, and today I wanted to show you some electric violins that I've got from the High Design Company. This is the High Design HEV2, not to be confused with the YEV made by Yamaha, uh, which I brought along just for a quick comparison. So the High Design um, HEV2 is. Uh, it's almost semi-acoustic because there's a there's a resonance chamber in here. Um, otherwise, it uses all the bits and bobs that you'll see on most high design violins, from uh, the ebony chin rest, um, inbuilt adjusters on the tailpiece. Um, I put some slightly warmer strings on this ebony fingerboard, um, ebony pegs, and um, and so on. This violin has all been set up to be just the same as an acoustic violin except that it has a built-in pickup uh, right here underneath the bridge. Uh, which you'll see on some of the more entry-level electric violins that you'll see, particularly on your favorite marketplace. Uh, I don't recommend those instruments, but I do, however, like this one. So there's a built-in pickup here under the bridge. Um, we've got some nice controls here for basic tone adjustment. I've just got them all turned up there and on the back is room for a 9 volt battery so that you can plug that in. What I like about this instrument as I said earlier is that it's got a semi resonant cavity there which is uh, which is really good and that gives it um, that actually gives it some sound and and some resonance as well. So let's... What I find with a lot of the electric violins um, such as the um, the YEV is there's actually no resonance there so um, what you're getting are string vibrations and string vibrations only what the resonance of the instrument does is brings you something closer to that more natural sound uh, that you would expect to have from a violin so let's have a listen to this one So a pretty thin sound, but actually you're getting some sound there. Let's have a listen to a, um, a violin without any resonance uh, with the Yamaha here. What I find there is you're getting um, a lot more of the high frequency components from the strings and you're not getting the benefit of the filtering from having some kind of acoustic properties in the violin itself. So, uh, so for me, that's one of the things that I like about this. Uh, let's have a listen to it now, um, not acoustically, but let's have a listen to the electric output here. So you can hear here, there, there's a, a kind of um, depth to the tone there. If we have a listen to the uh, Yamaha now, let me just plug that in. You get a stronger signal with the Yamaha because the pickup transducer is in the bridge itself, but um, you're getting a lot more of those harsh vibrations. Let's have a listen. So uh, for me, and I guess I'm more of an acoustic player, um, and though I do like to amplify my violins, what I like about the, um, the high design is A, I'm getting some kind of acoustic feedback here when I play, but also when I amplify it, I'm getting more of that um, natural violin sound than I would necessarily get from um, a purist electric violin. Um, electric violins being uh, a very different sound to, to acoustic violins. Other options that you have for amplifying your violin, of course, are um, pickups that you can put into your regular violin. This is a Fishman transducer here, which just fits in that wing. Um, KNA also make, make one that's quite popular. In fact, I know of at least one professional fiddle player that says, this is better for him than almost anything else he uses. Yeah, it's simple to apply and it's 
it's got a warmer sound than something like the Fishman. So um, that's the HEV2 in a nutshell. Um, I do like that it's got a reasonable homage to the traditional shape of a violin. Uh, High Design also make the HEV3, which is um, a little bit more funky. Um, again, it has that kind of partial resonant chamber in there, which gives it uh, that slightly warm sound from electric. And this one is made with uh, zebra wood, which is uh, quite attractive as well. Ultimately, though, uh, one of the other factors that make the high designs attractive uh, in comparison to something like the Yamaha is the price point. So they are nearly uh, they're nearly half the price of the Yamahas. So um, if you're looking to have a play with an electric, uh, it's it's not a bad way to get into that. If you're living in a noisy apartment or living in an apartment where noise is a concern, uh, you can still hear what's happening under your ear. Um, or you can amplify it to have a more natural sound um, and you're being kind to your neighbors as well. So um, that's the High Design HEV, High Design Electric Violin uh, Model 2 and Model 3. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks very much and bye for now. Ah, Dan here again. Hi there, um, a little addendum on my uh, HEV piece is I only showed you the straight through signal. But of course, uh, what you can do with your electric violins is you can put them through a pedal and this can um, give you a whole range of options. This is a zoom pedal, it's a multi-pedal and I set this up with, uh, with a range of options. Um, what I like to use on my um, electric violins is a little bit of reverb and just a little bit of delay. Not enough to be silly, but what I find is it just fattens out the sound a little bit and um, can improve the sound a lot, and especially if you're going to be playing outdoors, um, a, a really nice thing. <laughs> So a lot of fun can be had with um, with a basic looping pedal. This one is the Zoom A1X. Uh, I quite like it. It's quite inexpensive. Uh, other pedals that I've had are the Boss multi pedals, and they're a lot of fun too. So um, have a play with some of those if you're uh, interested. If you know anyone with a guitar, um, you can borrow their pedals as well and just try them out. Uh, just be wary about the input impedance uh, requirements. That won't make sense now, but when you have a go, it'll make some sense. So that was with the uh, my Zoom A1 pedal here. And um, you can see here a range of effects that I can pick in. The other thing I like to do when I'm playing uh, my violin is I use something like uh, this um, kind of personal foldback device, if you like. It's actually got some pretty reasonable specs. Uh, it's got Bluetooth, which I've never used. It's got a nice lithium battery in it, which seems to last forever. And uh, what I like about it is it's got some built-in, let me see if I can get this up to the camera. It's got some built-in reverb there as well. So um, if you don't want to pedal, you can get yourself one of these for not more than a few hundred bucks. Now let's plug this in and I'll Give you a quick demo of it. So firstly without any um, any reverb and let's hope this doesn't blow out my microphone. <laughs> That's just raw, and now, now with some reverb. You're 
Roma brand. I like it because I just take it with me when I'm jamming with other people. Uh, really convenient, battery powered, and it's got a line out. So if, I, if someone wants to use a serious PA, I can use that. And there's my personal fallback as well. So um, your mileage may vary. See what you think, and this time bye for now.